Hello, it's Callum here at Wireside, aka The Viking. Um, with the huge success of my last video, um, I've had loads of demand for more. So this time I'm going to talk solid bags. I use solid bags in a lot of my fishing, if it's fishing in weed or just getting a rod out quick to a fish. Because it does fish pretty much everywhere for me. Uh, I know some people say it don't, but for me I've had results chucking them at fish uh, for many years at Wireside. So starting things off. I am now going to put a list on the screen of all the components you need um, and let's get on with it. So, on with it. so first of all you take your solid bag tail rubber um, and you thread the line through the thin end coming out of the fat end. Then you take my choice three ounce lead um, and you've got a little bit of plastic at the top. You've, thread on through that and it comes out the bottom end and then you take a normal size 8 swivel, thread the line through the swivel, pull the tag end out and that will leave you a big loop, twist around one, two, three, four, five times and then go back through the big hole you've made, pull that down like so and then give it a good moist and pull that down, that knot beds in tight and then just Turn the tag ends five mil away. So if it does slip by any chance, you, you've got a bit of give. And then you pull your leg down, like so. And then pull your swivel right in there to set it up as the bolt rig effect you want. But if it, if it does snap off, it is a safe rig and the swivel will come out the bottom of the lead. Finally, on the lead end, just put on the solid bag rubber leaving you a finished article like that. In a solid bag, it wants to be supple braid. So I start peeling off about seven inches and then just I'll cut that, leaving me seven inches of braid. Then first of all, you need to create your hair. So you just form a loop and just tie an overhand knot in the loop. Try and get it nice and small because you want the knot of the loop inside your bait. Um, this can be a little bit fiddly, some people use a bait needle to pull the loop through, but that's what you're looking for, a loop like so. I'll just trim the tag end off. And then you take, you need a wafter, so if you put a wafter onto a bait needle, this one is an EF Essential Pink. Slide that on to the loop, and then just slip a boilie stop in the loop before pulling the bait down to secure that in place that will leave you that and then you take a hook my hooker choice is a size four or six curve shank uh, so you thread the braid through the back of the eye pull it down and i pull pull the bait down so it's parallel with the bottom of the hook before wrapping around i normally wrap 13 times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Then I also turn this into a KD by flipping the boilie over and just wrapping around the hook. One, two, three times. Push that all nice and tight, one wrap back up, and then slide it back through the back of the eye, hence the name Nutless Nut. And that leaves you with quite an aggressive thing, and that will turn into my hand. So it, hopefully it'll turn into a fish's mouth um, and that will sit like that on the bottom inside your solid bag. So next you need to attach this to your swivel, what you've put onto your rod. So if you just, we'll do the same knot again, through the eye, one, two, three, four, five and then back through the hole pull it down slightly wet it slide it fully down and then cut your tag end about five ten mil away again so that's your solid bag rig there like so that hook link is around three and a th three to three and a half inches because i don't want it too big uh, to go into the solid bag step now is to get a solid bag, this is a quarter medium bag, and then you need some mix to go in it. You can use pellets, ground bait, whatever you like. This is a ready mix one from Bait Guru. This is the jungle mix, 
as you can see, full of really small pellets and different sort of stick mixes, uh, prop good stuff. So I'll start by putting a small handful in the bottom of the bag and then I place the lead into the bag, make sure that's central in the bottom, like so. And then you take another handful of the mix, bringing the bag to just under halfway. And then if you get your hook bait and put it into a cut, aim it towards a corner. And then I just slowly move the pellets out of the way with my finger. And I'm bringing the bait down and the hook to there. So it's opposite the lead and the rig's all nice and neat in there. And then I finish off by just putting a little bit more pellet in so all my hook link is buried. And then if I was casting this a long way, I'd tie it with PVA, but this, the way I'm gonna do it, casts up to a hundred yards for me. So then you literally twist and push, twist and push, twist and push. And then you um, wet the top twisted bit, like so. And that moisture will make the bag stick and shut so that's the bag shut looks quite messy there and won't cast very far so the final touches to the bag for me is pushing the corners pull the corners out and it leaves the excess pva lick your finger stick them down do that on both sides and that leaves your finished particle that's full of attraction can pretty much fish anywhere apart from really dense weed uh, and that'll get you plenty of bites. If you want to go to the next level, you can inject a liquid into this to give it a bit more thing. This is what comes in the bag mix. This is the jungle mix oil, which is also winterized, so you can use it all year round. I just squeeze about five mil in near my hook bait like so. And that would be my solid bag rig ready to go and get it cast out to them showing fish. Um, give it a go, guys. And now we're going to end this video with a bit of fun. Um, me the Viking doing Vikingly like things. Hope you've enjoyed watching and have a laugh at me at the end. Okay, thank you. Just having my daily swim in it. Might be February, but it's lovely and warm out here. Just swimming across the stock pond. Come on the Viking. <laughs> <laughs>